kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I will teach you how to use the range seek bar in Android Studio. All right, guys. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So, first of all, you have to create a new project, and after that, what you need to do is you need to we need to add the library. So, the library we will be using, and I will be. I will upload the library link in the video description. Okay, so guys, first of all, go to build.gradle and here we will add the dependency. So for that, we can write compile and then we can write org dot dot range seek bar. Slash library. 0.3.0 okay so now you need to click on sync now and after that you will see that it is uh, compiled uh, successfully so now the library is added and now we can easily use it all right so now go to activity slash man dot xml and here we can add the range seek bar then set the width to match parent and set the height to wrap content then we also need to set the id to range seek bar and after that okay so guys i guess it's enough but if you want okay so let's see if we have absolute okay all right guys so if you want to set the maximum value and the max and the minimum value so you can set it in xml or you can also set it in java code okay so let's not add it here we, here we will add it in our java code dynamically all right so guys here inside your main activity dot java what you need is we need to have the range seek bar and we can create an object so now we can bind it to our view so we can say range seek bar equal to range seek bar find you by id r dot id dot range seek bar Alright, so now here there are many properties of range seek bar. So first of all, we can say range seek bar dot set selected max value and set selected min value. So first of all, let's select. We can say set selected max value and it should be 50. And range seek bar dot set selected min value and it should be let's say zero. Alright or we can say 10 all right then we can also okay so now we can use a listener so for that we can say range seek bar dot set on range seek bar change listener then we can say new on range seek bar change listener so here inside that here you can see that we have got the bar so we can get the min and max value so how can we do that so we can say, say number min value equal to and here we can say bar dot get selected min value change max to min and similarly we can say number max value equal to bar dot get selected max value all right and we can print print it so before that let's type cast it into integer so we can say integer min equal to int min value and for our max value we can max value all right and we can now print it so we can say min equal to min then next line max equal to max all right So 
so i guess that is it okay so here we are getting the error all right guys so now if it's complete let me connect my phone Now let's try to run the project. And now the app is running and there you are able to see the min and the max value. So if I change it, so you are able to see min equal to 0, max equal to 81 and there you can see min 17 and max 81 alright guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe